Please open in your learning workbook to page 61 and read along. Let's solve a problem. The planning department of Abstract Office Supplies has been asked to determine whether the company should introduce a new computer desk next year. The department estimates that $7,000 of new manufacturing equipment will need to be purchased and that the cost of constructing each desk will be $200. The department also estimates that the revenue from each desk will be $550. Part A, determine the revenue function R of X from the sale of X desks. B, translate the information about costs to determine the cost function C of X for manufacturing X desks. C, write the equation for the break-even point and use it to determine how many desks must be manufactured and sold in order to break even. Okay, so we're told that we have X desks and we have to create a cost function, a revenue function, and find the break even point. So here's the essential elements of this problem. We've got a planning department. They plan on spending $7,000 of new manufacturing equipment. So the first thing you want to understand is that is a fixed cost. The manufacturing equipment is kind of like the machines that will be used to assemble the desks. You don't need to buy one of those machines for every single desk you intend to create. You buy the machines once and you use them over and over and over again to build all of the desks that you're going to construct. Okay, next it says the cost of constructing each desk will be $200. This is a variable cost because the cost varies. It depends on how many desks you create. One desk, you'll need $200 of these materials. Two desks, you'll need $400. Three desks, you'll need $600, and so on and so on. It says the revenue from each desk will be $550. This will help us determine our revenue function. We're gonna use the equation that revenue is equal to the quantity sold times the price. And then finally, our variable definition tells us that X represents the number of desks. Okay, we're now ready to solve this problem. First, let's make our revenue function. We know that revenue equals quantity sold times price. Okay, so the quantity sold, that's X. That's the number of desks. The price must be $550 because it says that the revenue from each desk is $550. So putting that together, we get that R of X is equal to 550X. Okay, part B, C of X. Well, cost function is your variable costs times X plus your fixed costs. So we just need to figure out what are the variable costs and what are the fixed costs. Okay, so the variable cost is what you have to pay every time you make a desk. That's this $200. So it would be 200 times X plus. The fixed costs are things that you pay that have nothing to do with the number of desks that you plan on making. That would be this manufacturing equipment. That's the $7,000. All right, so then we find that for this problem, C of X is equal to 200x plus 7,000. So this is the answer to part A. This is the answer to part B. Part C asks us to find the break-even point. The break-even point is the point where cost and revenue are equal to each other. So setting R of x equal to C of x, setting 550x equal to 200x, we can now solve for x. I want all of my terms with variables to be on the same side. So I'm going to move this 200 to the other side. When a term changes sides, it changes signs. So I get 550x minus 200x equals 7,000. 350x equals 7,000. Divide by 350 on both sides. And I get x equals 20. Okay, so we've now completed this problem. What we've learned is that if you spend $7,000 buying a machine 
that will allow you to make desks and you buy $200 worth of materials for each desk and you charge $550 for each assembled desk, then once you construct and sell 200 desks, you will break even. And if you sell any number of desks beyond that amount, then you will be making money, you'll be earning profit.